page, I'm here, Enoch 15, and I'm going to start at the first verse. This is the Most High from the heaven after translating Enoch into the heavens, giving him the understanding of what will happen to the fallen angel, angels and their children. Let's read it, starting with the first verse. Enoch chapter 15, verse 1. Go ahead. And he answered and said to me, and I heard his voice, Fear not, Enoch, thou righteous man and scribe of righteousness. Approach hither and hear my voice. And go, say to the watchers of heaven. Say to the watchers of heaven. Watchers are angels. Who have sent thee to intercede for them. And for those who don't believe that watchers are angels, when they came to earth, they gave mankind the technology to put up satellites, which are called digital angels. And what do satellites do? Watch. So how can you believe in the artificial angels they've put out there and not believe in the original ones that were in the course of your satellites today? Okay. And these are for those who only believe in science. Where do you think they get the ideas to put satellites out the earth, outside the earth, to watch the earth? They, they're going in the same course as the fallen angels that fell before the flood. See? You see the value of Enoch now? Read that again. Verse 2. And go say to the watchers. And go say to the watchers, the original satellites, which were the spiritual satellites, which were angels. Of heaven. Of heaven. Who have sent thee to intercede for them. You should intercede for men and not men for you. Because the angels ask Enoch to go and petition before the Father to allow them re-entry into the heavens. And when Enoch came before the Father, he said, you tell those who supposed to have been, inter they, 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 they were supposed to be sending you messages, not the other way around. <laughs> so you tell those watchers, that have fell to this earth, that earth. Read. Verse 3. And I'm going to tell you right now, the watches of this earth, that fell to this earth, is all the idols that are being worshipped in all religions. They're, they're worshipping the fallen angels through idolatry. Through each idol, it links to one of the fallen angels. Okay. So, so for those who don't understand why when you go into Catholic Church, there's all these different saints and all these different idols and all that. Don't even understand, like, what do they got to do with connecting to the Most High? Remember, these angels used, used to intercede between the Most High and man. So now, in its place, they're using idols to do it. Fallen angels that used to intercede. Intercede. That's the reason for idolatry, and the most high hate idolatry, because those same fallen angels should not be worshipped. They should not be followed. They should not be acknowledged. They fell. But they are the kings and fathers of the royal bloodlines that are ru running this earth today. And that's what's being hid from you. And that, that's why they are acknowledging their fathers, the fallen angels, through idolatry. It's a bloodline. So if you see anyone with an idol, they're worshiping a fallen angel. Period. Read. Verse 3. Wherefore have you left the high, holy, and eternal heaven? They left the heavens. And lain with women. And they came down and laid with women. And defiled yourselves with the daughters of men. And taken to yourselves wives. And done like the children of earth, and begotten giants as your sons. Verse 4. That's Nephilim in the earth. Now, they, now there's a new DNA in the earth called Nephilim. A new being that was created out of sin between what? The spiritual and the physical. Read. And though ye were holy, spiritual, living the eternal life. Go ahead. You have defiled yourselves with the blood of women Go ahead. and have begotten children with the blood of flesh and as the children of men have lusted after flesh and blood as those also 
do who die and perish. Verse 5, Therefore have I given them wives also, that they might impregnate them, and begat children by them, that thus nothing might be wanting to them on earth. Go ahead. But you were formerly spiritual, living the eternal life, and immortal for all generations of the world. Go ahead. And therefore,